Alright everybody, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have Brian and Brian is going to show us a lesson from the La Pela Plata. Am I right Brian? That's correct. So we're going to show a position while you're playing guard. Uh, it's a position that's going to be very hard to pass for the opponent. It's going to involve tying them up with the lapel and uh, we'll continue on from there. And what's the name of the technique Brian? <laughs> La Pela Plata. Before we show the technique, you have to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, give us the thumbs up. And also, don't forget to hit that bell below. Because if you don't do that, the YouTube doesn't send a notification when we upload a new video to our YouTube channel. Alright guys, so we're going to be playing a guard position. So my opponent here, Cobrinha, is going to be standing up for this particular uh, position. I'm going to take my hand and make like a captain hook hook with my hand. And I'm going to swipe at my opponent's lapel and open up the lapel. When you do it in action, it's actually going to be quite easy. I'll show it to you again. Make a hook, swipe it open. Now the lapel is available. I'm going to grab it with both hands and then I'm just going to pull right here. In this position, once you grab the lapel with both hands, the reason why you want to do that is because if you're grabbing with one hand or uh, one or the other, Sometimes there is, the, there is a small chance that the opponent can strip the lapel from your hand somehow. So in the beginning, it's kind of good to get a, a good hold with both hands right here. And I'm going to hook my heel in the crook of his gi on the outside right here. And I'm actually going to apply a little bit of body weight by uh, putting down pressure with my heel onto Cobrinha's gi and lifting my hips off the floor. If I do this, I'm putting my weight into uh, Cobrinha's gear right here, and now it's much harder for Cobrinha to move. From this position, guys, we're going to start transitioning already. I'm going to take my foot, base it against Cobrinha's shoulder, and then now it'll be very easy with your hips off the floor. You can move it up and off the floor to spin underneath and try to go for an underhook. Notice how I've almost uh, completely inverted the position from where I was at before. Once I've gotten to this position, I'm looking to grab, make an underhook, and you can start to kind of fish for it. And you don't want to start passing the lapel too early. You want to try to get a deeper grip with the opponent's leg higher up on your shoulder. So you can actually pick your hips up, get a little bit closer, place the instep of your leg right against Cobrinha's, uh, Cobrinha's hip right here, and make sure that this underhook is very snug on your shoulder. That is the time that you can hand off the lapel and secure the lapel plata. From this position, guys, I'm going to start baiting Cobrinha. I'm going to uh, wave my knee and see if uh, Cobrinha is familiar with this position, see if he knows where he is and whether or not he's aware of the dangers of this position. So I can start to wave my knee around, start to try to kick him away a little bit, and then in the event that he grabs my gi right here at the leg, this is exactly what I want, guys. Once he grabs it, I'm not going to, start to, I'm not going to telegraph my intentions by immediately grabbing for the arm. What I will do is I'll open up my leg and I'll bring it closer to me. At this point, it's very ripe for me to pluck the grip right off and I'm going to actually shoot my hips up into the air. My hips are gonna fly a little bit closer to his uh, upper body and I'm gonna be in a great position to apply the arm lock right here. And guys, if you want a, uh, a more firmer arm lock, make sure that your legs are not straightened like this. You want to kind of keep a boot on and clamp down on the upper body of your opponent so that you can apply a really good arm lock. All right, guys. So we're here in the in the, uh, in the guard position. Cobrinha is standing up. So I'm going to initiate going to the guard position here. I'm going to take my hands. I'm going to try to loosen up his lapel. Maybe do a little bit of hand fighting. And then when I have the chance, open up his lapel. His lapel is available for me to grab. I'm going to grab it, secure it with both hands. And then actually, at this point, when you're going to pull the guard, you can actually help yourself by posting the hand on the mat if you so need. So here, I'm going to get my ankle right into uh, my opponent's gi. And I'm going to place my hips on the floor. And I can actually pull my opponent towards me if I need to. And I'm going to secure the lapel with both hands while meeting both my feet together on either side of my opponent's lapel. From here, guys, uh, it's just about time for me to invert and get the, get the lapel applied position. So I'm going to make sure that I'm securing my opponent's lapel 
with the cross side arm, guys. It's very important. If you see here, Corinne's lapel is on one side. My arm that I'm going to grab it with, that I need it to grab it with, is on the other. If I grab it on the same side, guys, the position does not work. So make sure that when you transition from grabbing the lapel with both hands to one hand, it has to be a cross side grip. All of that while hooking your heel on the inside, I mean the outside of your opponent's uh, lapel, like so. And in order to help yourselves not get past, because sometimes people will grab your foot and try to force a pass anyways, to prevent that from happening, you need to apply some body weight. All you have to do is apply a weight into your heel and lift your hips up off the floor. It's a lot harder and a lot heavier for Korea. He's carrying my weight. All right, guys, so from this position, I'm going to go for uh, an underhook on my opponent's leg, spinning off of the lapel with my heel trapped in my opponent's lapel. I'm going to spin to this position, and I'm going to try to deepen my arm underneath Cobrina's leg right here. So if you, if you need to, you can even post your foot momentarily to just try to hop a little bit closer. That's just enough. Now, I, I secure a deep underhook. I'm going to hook the uh, outside of Cobrini's hip on the same side that I'm underhooking. And whether or not his arm is in between the lapel or not, I'm going to pass off this lapel to my hand with my palm facing outwards. If I grab this way with my palm facing inwards towards the camera, it'll be very easy for Cobrini to reach and strip that off. So as I give the lapel to my hand, I'm going to reach and grab it with my palm facing outwards. So if Cobrini does try to rip the lapel off, it's caught in the crook of my hand, therefore it's very difficult to break. From here, guys, what you can do is just square back to the center of the, of the guard position with the opponent with your foot stuck inside the, uh, essentially the holster area of, of your opponent's gi. If you see right here, there's a big space and my foot is through it. And if you check right here, there's a huge hole uh, in between the lapel, the, the grab the lapel space right here. And that's the place where my foot will be caught. When you go to the center, it's okay to spin your knee to face square. And then now from here, you can even grab your opponent's lapel and start to mess with his balance, put the feet in the shoulders, and try to get the opponent to grab the gi right here at the knee, guys. That's what you want. And again, do not telegraph that you want this. If you telegraph and you try to show that you want that arm, the opponent, if he's, if he's any sort of smart, he's going to already start retracting and be very wary of what you're trying to do here. So again, don't telegraph. Instead, what you'll do is stay very focused. You can even rotate this knee inwards on and off just to kind of grant yourself some movement. And then at this point, you can start to wave this leg around and play with his grip and see if he lets go. Over here, Cobrinha is being uh, a very good partner for me. He's still holding onto the, onto the grip, which is going to make it very easy for me to strip and get an armbar when I bring this knee really close to me. If you can see over here, over here it's very far away, and over here it's closer. Once it gets close enough to where I know I can grab it without Cobrinha running away, I'm going to hook his arm with my hand, with my arm grabbing the back of his tricep so he can't retract his arm. And here it's going to be very easy for me to straighten my leg and break it, break uh, my opponent's grip, and then now I'm going to go for the armbar. When you go for the armbar, guys, when you go for the armbar, it's important not to just place the leg over the foot, I mean, the, the leg over the face right here. Notice how even my knee is opened. This is not a great position from which to apply the armbar, guys. What you want to do is swing the leg over, lift your hips up, and you're going to bite down on the opponent's head with the back of your leg, almost like an alligator's jaws, like so. If you do this, there's a lot of pressure on the back of the opponent's head. He's not able to posture up very well, and I can now start to lift my hips up further into the air and apply the arm bar, or in certain situations, I can even make him fall to the floor. But here, we're just gonna continue to hold onto the lapel. I can take my arm, wrap it around my opponent's wrist, grab my own lapel, and lift my legs up for the submission. All right, everyone, thank you very much for supporting our channel. Brian, thank you very much for 
showing us the great details and I learned a lot today and I hope all of you guys who are watching us learn as well those great details and remember drill over and over and over after drill do the live position training and after live position training then you do the sparring session am I right Brian that's correct guys and if you guys want to learn any more details from the lapel similar to this video today remember to subscribe for this channel so you watch more more of our videos uh, like this video specifically if you enjoy the content and then hit the bell so you get the notifications.